I do not like that at all. Mark Cuban, your favorite shark from the hit TV show Shark Tank. He's an outspoken billionaire, a little less than Elon Musk, but Mark does have a track record of calling out the federal government for not doing more to help out the American people during the pandemic. What's up guys, my name is Nam, so in this video I want to talk about Mark Cuban and his proposal. Politicians are not the only ones who are giving out proposals. Mark Cuban on May 17th, he tweeted his own proposal. We're in a day and age where proposals can be made on Twitter. What a great time we live in. So let me show you what Mark Cuban said on Twitter. He said it's time to face the fact that PPP didn't work, great plan, difficult execution. No one's fault. The only thing that will save businesses is consumer demand. No amount of loans to businesses will save them or jobs if customers aren't buying. So from an economic standpoint, I kind of get what he's trying to do here because for businesses to stay alive, they got to produce products or things or services for people that want to consume them. But in the meat of his tweets, he said that because this will take time, we need to consider an interim spending stimulus program. All 128 million households could get a $1,000 check every two weeks for the next two months that must be spent within 10 days of receipt or it expires. It's basically a use it or lose it program. So I'm not really sure where Mark got his 128 million household that would be eligible because based on my research, it was estimated to be roughly around 150 million households that would be eligible for the stimulus check. So Mark, he also did continue to say that it will cost around $500 billion, but it will allow for the demand for non-essential products and services to increase, hopefully keeping most businesses alive as we learn what the impact of reopening is on the spread and whether or not employment grows organically. So he also did add that there is certainly a lot of risk with this use it or lose it approach. It's a lot to be considered, but it would be patterned after the US Direct Express. So let me know your thoughts. So if any of you guys are unfamiliar with what Direct Express is, it's basically a prepaid debit card that's offered to individuals who are receiving federal benefits. So this could be social security retirement, SSI, railroad retirees, and veterans. For some reason, there are plenty of individuals, including politicians, who have tried to propose a $2,000 stimulus check a month. So the one that you probably might have heard of is called the Emergency Money for the People Act. So this one was the first of its kind. So in this bill, it would give every eligible person $2,000 a month for at least six months, and if you had any children, that would be $500 a piece, up to a maximum of three kids. Of course, this bill was a little bit more specific as it was written out as a legitimate bill instead of a tweet. So also in this proposal, you had to meet a minimum adjusted gross income threshold to be eligible to receive the extra $2,000 a month. This would be $130,000 for individuals and $260,000 for married couples. And also if you made any amount above that threshold, your payments would be reduced 5% for each thousand dollars over that threshold. Another $2,000 a month stimulus bill that was very popular was called the Automatic Boost to the Community Act, which was also known as the ABC Act. This one was a little bit more extreme than the Emergency Money for the People Act because during the payment period, every individual will get $2,000 a month. Then one year after the payment period, every eligible individual will receive $1,000 a month. So how this one is a little different compared to the Emergency Money for the People Act is that there are no age restrictions. Even a child who's two years old can receive $2,000 a month during the payment period and after the payment period is done, they can also receive $1,000 a month for a whole year. So prior to Mark Cuban, this was the only bill that talked about having a prepaid debit card. So in the proposal, the US government would send individuals who are eligible a debit card and all the money would be sent that way. But wait, I'm not done with all the $2,000 a month proposals yet. There was another one that was proposed recently by Camilla Harris, Bernie Sanders, and Ed Marquis. This one was called the Monthly Economic Crisis Support Act. This would allow to send $2,000 for people who are making less than $100,000 a year and also $4,000 for married couples who are filed jointly that make less than $200,000 a year. And it would also provide $2,000 for each child up to a maximum of three. So with this proposed bill, these payments will be retroactive back to March and it will continue for three months after the public health emergency has ended, which can be months from now or even years from now that you can continue to get these payments. But just like any other proposal, the likelihood of any of these bills actually passing is very unlikely just due to the cost. It is estimated that the Monthly Economic Support Act will cost almost around $304 billion a month, just due to the fact that 90% of all age earners in America earn less than $100,000 a year. Most recently, the House did pass the HEROES Act. This proposed bill did call for a second round of stimulus, but it did not include any of the proposals for the $2,000 a month. It was more similar to the previous CARES Act as it would include a one-time payment of $1,200 and all dependents will receive an extra $1,200 as well. Even though Mark Cuban is not a politician, there are plenty of people out there who actually believe this $2,000 a month stimulus strategy. So Mark, he has been pretty vocal about how to deal with businesses, including his own during this pandemic. So he did actually announce that after the last season game of the Dallas Mavericks, that he would pay for hourly employees who worked at the American Airlines Center. And they would receive the initial six postponed home games 
all the way until April 11th. So as a reminder, this was even before the CARES Act was passed and the whole PPP loan program was even started. So he also did implement a reimbursement policy for all of his employees and he would pay them back for breakfast and lunch if he purchased at an independent business, a local restaurant, or coffee shops. Me personally, I do like Mark Cuban. He's one of my favorite sharks aside from Mr. Wonderful. I feel like his use it or lose it approach is pretty unique because he does want that money to be stimulating the economy as quickly as possible. Because in times of uncertainty, especially like right now, when people will receive money, of course they're gonna be spending it, but it's gonna be on their essential cost of living, such as housing and food. But if they do have any money left over, more likely than not, they're gonna be saving that money, just given the whole economic situation. Myself included, even though I do have an emergency fund with the stimulus money that I did receive, I'm still saving that money just because it's hard to predict how long this pandemic will last. All right guys, so that pretty much does it for me. Let me know in the comments below if you think Mark Cuban is right. If you haven't already, make sure you give this video a like because that really helps support the channel. If you want to hang out with me some more, check out my videos over here.